even as we grieved, we grew, that even as we hurt, we hoped, that even as we tired, we tried, that we'll forever be tied together, victorious. On January 20, 2020, in Washington, D.C., a strikingly young woman standing at the podium in front of the country leaders amazed us all with her poem, The Hill We Climb. The 22-year-old poet, who is also an activist, spoke with force and resonance, spreading her enthusiastic vision which brought tears to the eyes of many listeners. Hearing her words gave new hope to all the Americans about their future. And that woman is Amanda Gorman, the youngest poet to read aloud in the presidential inauguration and the youngest to grab the title of the National Youth Poet Laureate in the US in 2017. Amanda Gorman and her twin sister, Gabriella Gorman, was raised by a single mother, Joanne Wicks. It was during her third grade when she identified her passion towards poetry, when her teacher read aloud the Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury to the class. She was inspired by the youngest Nobel Prize laureate, Malala Yousafzai, to become a young delegate in the United Nations. She founded the One Pen, One Page, a non-profit organization that encourages youth advocacy leadership development and poetry workshops in 2014. Amanda's first book, The One for Whom Food is Not Enough, was published in 2015. Here is an interesting thing to know about this star poet of the Biden Harris inauguration. Amanda grew up with a child speech impediment. She had difficulty saying certain letters of the alphabet, especially the letter R. So instead of saying girls can change the world, she would say young women can shape the globe. And here she stands, capturing us all with her strong and poignant words. And here is another fascinating thing to know about her. While her poem and her powerful way of expression had a big impact, Gorman's choice of clothes for the inauguration was also put together to create an impact. Gorman's earring and the ring was gifted, gifted to her by none other than Oprah Winfrey. The ring featured a caged bird, a tribute to Maya Angelou's work, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. And did I mention that Maya Angelou is one of Amanda's favorite authors, which adds more excitement to this point? We, the successors of a country and a time, where a skinny black girl, descended from slaves and raised by a single mother, can dream of becoming president only to find herself reciting for one. She mentioned in her poem, The Hill We Climb, inspired by 49th US Vice President Kamala Harris, she is the first person to announce her intention to run for US President in 2036. Isn't that amazing? Gorman focuses on oppression, marginalization, feminism, racism, police brutality, incarceration of migrant children, abortion bans in the US and the African diaspora.